for practice itself, check 2.4 expressions 2. We are asked to trace the evaluation of the following expressions and give their resulting values. In our first equation, we are, well, for all of these equations, we're going to be reading from left to right. So first we have a 4 divided by 2, and that is going to give us 2.0 times 9 and that is going to equal 18.0 and then we need to divide this by 2 and this is going to give us the answer of 9. Since it is being um, divided by 18.0 into the decimal, this is actually going to be 9.0 so it's a double. In this next part we have 2.5 times 2 this is going to give us a 5 and then we're adding this to 8 divided by 5.0 and this is really going to be 50 divided by 80.0 we'll have one here 50 this is going to be 30.0 and so this is going to be 1.6 so we have 5 plus 1.6 plus 10 divided by 3 which is 3 and if we add all these together we're going to get 5 plus 3 which is 8 plus 1.6 which gives us the answer 9.6. So that is the answer for number or the second problem. Next we have 12 divided by 7. This is going to give us 1 and this is being multiplied by 4.4 so this is going to give us 4.4 and it is being multiplied by 2 so we have 8.8 .8 actually and then we divide this by 4 which gives us a 2 0.2. That is the answer for that part. Next we go on to this part where we have 4 times 3 which is 12. We then divide that by 8 which is 1 and then we add um, 2.5 times 2 and 2.5 times 2 is going to be 5.0 plus 1 is going to give us 6.0 and that's the answer for that part. In this next part we have parentheses so we have to look at everything inside of here and then look at everything outside. First we have our 5 times 7.0 this is going to give us 35.0 and this is being divided by 2 which will give us 17.5 and then we subtract 2.5 which will give us 15. Then we have to divide this by 5 which will give us 3 and then we're multiplying by that by 2 and that will give us 6 as our final answer. But 15 is actually a decimal so it's actually 15.0 being divided by 5 is going to be 3.0 times 6 is actually going to give us 6.0. For the next problem, we have 41 modulus 7. This is going to give us 6. And we are multiplying this by 3. And this is going to give us 18. Next, we have um, 18 divided by 5, which is going to give us 3 because we have to round 18 down to 15 and dividing that by 5 will give us 3. Now that we have all of this done we can start looking at this next part and here we have um, 2 and it's being multiplied by 2.5 so all of this is going to be 5.0 and we're adding it to 3 so we're going to get 8.0 as the final answer. Here we have 10.0 divided by 2. This is going to give us 5.0. Now we are dividing that by 4. So if we write this out, we're going to have 1, 4 here, 10, 2, and then we'll divide, or we'll have the 8 right here, and then we'll have 20. So basically, we will have that our answer here is going to be 12.5. For this. Next we have 8 divided by 5 and so here this is just going to be 1 because we're rounding 8 down to 5 and dividing it by 5 which will be 1. 
then we are adding this to 13 divided by 2. 13 divided by 2 is going to give us 6, and then we divide that by 3. That's going to give us 2.0. So that means our answer is going to be equal to 3.0. Here we have 2.5 plus 3.5. This is going to give us 6. We're dividing this by 2. And so our answer here is going to be 3.0. Next, we have 9 divided by 4. This is going to give us 2. We're multiplying this by 2.0, so we are going to get 4.0. Then we are subtracting this by 5 divided by 4, which will be 1. And so our answer here is going to be 3.0. In this next part, we have 9 divided by 2.0. This is going to give us 4.5. We're adding this to 7 divided by 3, which is going to be 2. And we are subtracting this from uh, 3.0 divided by 2, which is 1.5. This is going to give us 5.0 as our Next, we have 813 modulus 100. This is going to give us the value of 13. We then divide this by 3, so we get the value 4. And then we are adding this to 2.4, and that's going to give us the value 6.4. Next, we have 27 divided by 2. So we're going to get 13 here. And then we are dividing this by 2.0. Well, 13 divided by 2.0 is going to be 6.5. And then we are multiplying this by the addition of 4.3 and 1.7. This is going to be 6.0. So we're multiplying 6.5 by 6.0. And then we are subtracting it by 8 divided by 3, which is going to give us 2. 6.5 times 6 is 39. And if we subtract that by 2, that's going to give us 37.0. And the point zero is because we're dealing with doubles. Next, we have 53 divided by 5. This is going to round down to 50, so we are going to get 10 here. And then we are dividing this by 0 0.6 plus 1.4, which is going to give us 2.0. So we are going to get from here 5.0. And then we need to divide this by 2. So this is going to give us 2.5. And then we need to add this to 13 divided by 2, which is 6. So our answer is just going to be 8.5. Then we have 2 times 3, which is going to give us a 6. We're dividing this by 4, so that's going to give us a 1. We're multiplying this by 2, and so we're going to have 2. Then we're dividing 2 by 4.0. So we're basically going to have 40 divided by 20.0. And that's going to give us 0 0.5. We'll have 0 0.5 plus 4.5 minus 1, which is 3.5. And then we have 3.5 plus our previous answer, which is 0 0.5. So our answer here is just going to be 4.0. Next, and lastly actually, we have 89 modulus 10. So our answer, or what we're going to get here, is 9. We're dividing this by 4, so we are going to get 2. We are multiplying this by 2.0, so we are going to get 4.0. Then we divide this by 5. And 5 divided by 4.0 is just going to be 0 0.8. And so this is going to give us 0 0.8. We then add this to 1.5 plus 0 0.5, because this is 0 0.5. So we're going to add this to 2.0, multiply by 2. And this is going to give us 4.0. And 4.0 plus 0 0.8 is just going to be 4.8 as our final answer.